Hey guys, first of all, we have finally reached 100 subscribers. I mean, it is not a big number, I know, but for me it is. And uh, because of that, I will make a review of a new legend hero called Flint. Anyway, as I described in my uh, last video, I told you guys how to get uh, that hero. I mean, in that e event, of course, he can. He's a paid hero, paid legend, so you can get him other way around. But this is a cheaper way to get him. Anyway, let's start. First of all, he is a front row support, which kinda is, I don't know, awkward, but I'm not the developer of this game. He is physical hero. Uh, I know that maybe someone will tell that it is not he, it is she, but I heard somewhere that uh, they made, they devs made a mistake about his gender so anyway it says that he's he protects teammates with the giant shield and controls enemy energy so let's take a look about and uh, at his skills his uh, main uh, ultimate or attack is Grand Prelude anyway he releases the fairies in his shield dragging nearby heroes to himself then raising his shield and dealing AOE, AOE damage and a stun to surrounding enemies stun hit rate increases with skill level I don't know damage is not too big for level 84, but uh, he is tank. He shouldn't he shouldn't do much damage. Next one is uh, uh, protecting wipe. Increases magic resistance for self and nearby allies, um, along with a damage absorbing shield. Also reduces AOE damage received by ally heroes for a time. Flint is immune to from most. Uh, crowd control skills while casting. Now I saw that someone was saying something about his armor that it decreases significantly, but I don't know. I haven't even tried tried the her or him in uh, in a battle. Next one is Peach Correction. Uh, it says that it attacks the enemy hero with the most energy, dealing physical damage, physical damage for a time after. This enemy will be unable to regen energy. Hit rate of this effect increases with skill level. Also, damage is not that he deals with it is not big, but as I said, he is tank. So, I mean support, but in the front row, so tank or I don't know. And the last one, noise cancelling, boosts own max health points. When an ally casts silence, Flint instantly summons shield against enemy hero with most energy, blocking energy regen uh, for a time. Hit rate increases with skill level, will prioritize enemies that can regen energy damage is not big but I don't know so he or she or whatever when it comes to equipment it is mostly uh, armor based or magic resist based equipment 
Now I still haven't uh, evolved him to orange plus two, so I can't quite see this. But uh, most of you already know what it does. As for which equipment to use, I picked this two: dwarf chain chainmail and uh, kingdom shield. I mean, this Kingdom Shield uh, is good if you use uh, someone else with him or her, like, I don't know, Uther maybe, or Neja, or something like that. But uh, I choose these two, so if anyone knows which equipment should be used for him, let uh, let me know down in comments. Next, uh, let's see talents. As you can see, he doesn't have a captain skill yet. Maybe he will have. Uh, first. The First talent is Crusher, it gives armor penetration to him, which is nice. Next one, Stonewall, gives armor. Healing Tree gives health at health and health regeneration. Um, Enhancer gives shield effect. By the way, I still don't know what shield effect is, but never mind. The next one, Hawkeye, gives him damage. Deflector gives health and magic resistance. Uh, this one, Tree of Life, gives health. The sprint gives attack speed. Where Blood gives magic resist again yeah. to a talent that give a magic resist. And the last one, Focus, gives him attack damage and armor. Another, another talent that gives armor. Next. Uh, for Dragon Prayer. Uh, as you can see, he uh, has four of these attributes. Armor, uh, health, uh, I mean, the bonus rewards, armor, health, shield effect, and the magic resistance. As you can see, he gains a lot of magic resistance. And uh, shield effect 50%, I mean, that's huge, also armor. Anyway, he's, he's uh, pretty much something like Gerber, shield all around. But he is not tank. He is front row support. The priest boost, if you have them unlocked, gives additional health, additional attack damage, additional armor and magic resistance, and additional armor penetration. And as you can see, I have already unlocked uh, his health bonus reward. Next one, Biso. Now, I saw debates about uh, which Biso to use for him. I went with Scorpion. Because I think that uh, he might uh, use Scorpion more than, I don't know, any other uh, Biso that is tank based. Maybe Behemoth. Maybe. I don't know quite yet, but uh, my personal opinion is uh, Scorpion. Now I will show what it actually gives to him. Scorpion gives him a lot of magic resistance, which he already has a lot of magic resistance, so I guess he will be a 
pretty useful against magic teams. Also he gains almost similar amount of armor, but not that much I think, that not, not that much as magic resistance. Also this uh, scorpion kinda influence other players uh, when it comes to their energy. Since uh, how it is how it says here, when dealing damage to a target, it reduces the armor uh, the amount of health points regeneration and energy the target receives for a short time, which is nice for him and for your team. So this is uh, my opinion and if I went for for, for giant behemoth this one also gives pretty much similar I uh, guess this one gives more of armor and magic resist but the over hero chance of receiving critical strike when can point drop is below 80% will damage received for a certain amount of damage. I don't know. I still kinda think that uh, Scorpion is better for him, but we will see later. Anyway... Oh yes, Hero Codex. He is of course part of Legendary Alliance. As you can see I only have <laughs> Thanos, Gerber and Lisa. Which I also got in similar way like uh, Flint. Next he is in Gunner. As you can see if you pair him with uh, Uther he will gain additional uh, increased armor. Next uh, codex is Gentleman. As you can see none of these three first first three are much built by me because I don't use tanks or something that is in front row. I mostly use uh, be, uh, heroes that doesn't use this set of codex items. Next one is Guardians. And last one is Nomads. And uh, I don't know what he also when it comes to star soul I would not be able to build much for him because uh, of course he is only 3 star hero who knows when uh, I will be able to get uh, <laughs> more of his soul stones and last one attributes let's, me, let's see where is, where is, uh, armor, uh, here it is, armor and magic resistance. As you can see, magic resistance is a bit higher, yeah. even though I use uh, less of these items or equipment that gives him even more of his, of this, uh, a magic resist and armor is lower so he gains a lot more of armor from equipment and stuff like that now as I said you can try with different equipments 
or different uh, pistols as you please. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. I hope that I will get to I don't know 200 subscribers till the end of year. Hopefully. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And see you guys in next video. Bye bye.